In this week's video I talk about Hofa impingement syndrome on MRI. So this is the first case, but before I show you the actual pathology, we quickly go through a few key facts regarding Hoffa's fat pad. First of all, Hoffa's fat pad is this fatty tissue here in the center of the knee, just below the patellar tendon and in front of the femur and the tibia and the ligaments here in the intercondylar notch. It lies within the joint capsule, but it's outside the synovium. Hoffa's fat pad is innervated by a lot of nerve endings and therefore can be a pain generator in the knee. Frequently you see some kind of edema within Hoffa's fat pad and many of them are not really clinically relevant or symptomatic. To mention here is if you have some edema around or along the infrapatellar plica, also known as the ligamentum mucosum, then it's just or most likely a normal finding and not clinically relevant. So keep that in mind and if you want to know more about uh, infrapatellar plica, I made a video about it together with all the other plicas and you can see the link in your upper right corner right now. Better go watch it after this one and not right away. Anyways, now let's jump right to the pathology here. And here it is. So supralateral Hoffa impingement refers to a edema in the Hoffa fat pad in the supralateral portion of Hoffa's fat pad. So this is the main body down here. If we are scrolling up, here is the superior portion and this is laterally. So supralateral Hoffa impingement, also known as patellar tendon, and you can see here why, patellar tendon lateral femoral condyle friction syndrome. So it's a mechanical conflict between the uppermost portion of the lateral aspect of the patellar tendon and the underlying lateral femoral condyle here. And due to this chronic friction, you have inflammation, etc. And then you get an edema and an inflammation here in the supralateral of a fat pad. You can easily understand this here in these sagittal images here. We have enough space between the medial femoral condyle and the patellar tendon here, so we don't see this typically on the medial side. Now, if we scroll through the joint, going to the lateral side, you can see here in this patient that the distance between the patellar tendon and the lateral femoral condyle is very narrow. And you can imagine if this guy is flexing his knee, then what's going to happen is that the ligamentum patellar or the patellar tendon is going along this way and even further impinging this fatty tissue here between the lateral femoral condyle and the patellar tendon. It can be tricky, especially if you don't have a lot of experience or you have never heard about it. You will not right away see it. You might mistake it for a little bit of joint diffusion. You might not even notice it at all. And frequently you see reports from outside institutions or uh, even all the reports, maybe even within your institution, where people do not describe this finding. And especially if patients have anterior knee pain, no trauma, always go check this region here for this edema. And this is the next case, um, similar finding. So we go through the level of the patella on our axial sections with some kind of fat saturation and fluid sensitivity, and then we are scrolling down. And we start to see a subtle edema here between the patellar tendon and the lateral femoral condyle consistent with a supralateral Hoffa impingement or patellar tendon lateral femoral condyle friction syndrome. This time we have a sagittal proton density weighted fat saturated sequence and if we are scrolling laterally you can see the distance is narrow as well but not so narrow as in the first case but nevertheless you can clearly see the edema here between the patellar tendon and the lateral femoral condyle here. And just another case just to train your eye a little bit here this time it's not straightforward in a way because we don't really have the edema between the patellar tendon and the lateral femoral condyle here in this region but it's close by and it might be an impingement here of the patella and the femoral condyle here anyways i would still suggest that this might be a supralateral hofa impingement I would probably not use the term patellar tendon lateral femoral condyle friction syndrome because it's not really here uh, that far laterally. Now you can see on this image also another additional finding here and this is this deep cartilage fissure all the way 
uh, down here in the trochlear ephemeris. We can also nicely see this here on our coronals. So you can see here this black line. So this is a typical cartilage fissure in this region. They are not hyperintense, they are black, therefore we term this also the black line sign. And I just recently made a video about it and you can go and check it out in your upper right corner after watching this video. You can also see the link in the description down below. And to wrap up, we have here just another case. Same finding, lower pole of the patella, patellar tendon, lateral femoral condyle here, and in between the supralateral portion of Fofa's fat pad is hyper intense on this fluid sensitive weighted sequence. There is edema, inflammation going on, and this is a patient with anterior knee pain without trauma, consistent with a supralateral Hoffa impingement. So very easy diagnosis, but you have to know it and you have to look for it, otherwise you might miss it.